Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the final episode from the Realm of Vast in Season 5. Today is a replay mod only episode because it's the last episode shot with my old crappy computer before the new one gets here, I hope. And uh, it's time to take a look back at what we did in Season 5. This is episode, I think, 55. So 55 episodes in Season 5. I think the first place that we should start with is probably the end. It's my player base, something that we started uh, this off-season before this one. And uh, yeah, I went a little crazy. So the first thing that I did was I built a custom island in the end, and then I just started building a castle. And then even though the island is huge itself, I actually ran out of space. So I started building this season more additional islands and then connecting them with sort of hanging bridges. It was really fun. It was a fun way to sort of get some interest. So there was like man-made elements along with the nature elements of the islands. I think it worked really well. I, I do think that at some point I need to come in here with maybe a slightly different palette because um, down in the bottom right of your screen, you will see the stables, the upcoming stables, which are not connected yet, except for by that pipe. And I used some dark oak there, I think, and it really, really, really helped. So I think one thing that would really help this, this entire island really is just adding in some dark oak, maybe adding in some, yeah, I don't even jungle or birch or something, just something to just, just bring in a little bit different color. More recently in the season, I added in the jungle dome. You can see that, that giant egg-shaped thing right there. It's not done yet. I mean, the jungle dome itself is done, but there's going to be other big things that are going to make it look a little bit less uh, oddly big <laughs> there. I do have plans for the skyline that's really going to make that work. But as of now, yeah, it does look like just a big dumb egg on top of my castle. But don't worry. Don't worry. I have plans. I know how it's going to it's gonna all sort of work together. I think it's going to be really cool. You can see that portal is the science lab. I, I wanted to go a little bit sort of out, of out of the medieval thing while sticking with the lore and everything. So one of the lore bits that we did this season is the elves who live here who were teleported to the end whenever the, the Forbidden Blight was cast by... Um, the elf king, mage king, is uh, we said, well, they've been here for, for a while and maybe they have some scientists. They have some technologically more advanced people. So I built kind of an elven science lab that's really studying the zombie pigmen and trying to figure out ways that they can defeat them in battle. Uh, the last thing I added, I think, here in the bottom left of the screen is just a little mini cow pasture, which I, I just thought it would be fun to have a little mini farm. Uh, the headache of bringing cows to the end was, uh, it was, it was substantial. Now on to the major uh, crux of the season, which is Gravenwall. We did a, a poll a, or a vote internally before we started this season, and Steampunk won. Uh, much to my chagrin, I, I picked either Giant or Old West, but that's okay. Steampunk won, and we had a really great time doing it. We started something new this season that will continue basically forever and ever in the way that we build, which is basically build right on top of each other, and it has fundamentally changed the way that we build in the realm of vast and for the better like you can see there are houses just on top of houses on top of houses it's so great and this kingdom if you want to hop on the tour server we have by the way a public tour server with no no whitelist or anything you can just grab the ip and you can just hop on you can just walk around and just check out all these things because it's nice seeing them cinematically here with replay mod but it is really nice to walk around sort of as intended with feet on the ground because you see things from that perspective and it's really great i i'm really focusing this video on stuff that i had a hand in building there's amazing builds like damon ship or or av's clock or old old gray man's uh b tower or i mean whatever we can go on and on i gym ways lightning tower i mean it could go forever but i really sort of focusing on what i did speaking of that there's a there's a blunt that Callus did. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so the uh, the other main thing that I worked on was in Gravenwall. Well, there's a few things. But this floating farm I thought was really cool. So we decided, you know, they'd want to eat. And, you know, I didn't just want to plant fields because you've been there, done that, right? So how would steampunk people eat? And I thought this would be really cool. So they have like a little floating thing where, where it can go over water and it can grab water and come back and water the crops and then bring the crops right to the people. 
the great Draymond Smith Gaming came in and helped me build a train. Well, helped me. She built it. I just watched and stood around. It sort of, I jumped a lot, you know, ran in circles <laughs> and just watched her uh, amazing train building ability. Uh, but yeah, I built a train, she built a train outside of my, my factory here. I wanted to have a, uh, a rocket factory, a firework factory. I had actually plans to actually sort of automate the firework aspect of it. And I just, the season got away from me. I did so many other projects. I, I never really got to that. But, um, you know, I, I did strive to do a lot of interiors. Not all, not all certainly, but a lot of interiors uh, this season. And next season, I think I'm going to try to do all. I think that'll be the the way that I sort of go about it. Then number three, if you're wondering what that is, we have an, we had did a mini game day where, and that's an Ender Pearl golf game. And there's a, it's a nine hole uh, tournament game set up all over Gravenwall that you can throw your Ender Pearls and keep your score. This build they're seeing right now is probably my favorite build of the entire season. It was a build that uh, a few people collabed in it, but mainly I want to say it was me and Callus. And uh, we just decided to build a really, really, really dense town. And it turned out great. If you're walking around the tour server, this is a player part you have to come walk through and see. I think it's really terrific. We just built right on top of each other. Like he built a house literally on top of mine. Then I built a house literally on top of his. And we just kept going up and, and dense and really connected. I really like that big gear in the background going into the town underneath the train too that powers the turntable that turns the train. It's like there's a train elevator. It's a little hard to see, but yeah, you, the train can go into this turntable and it sort of corkscrews down and then turns in a different direction. You can just follow the tracks all around the city. It's really cool. That silent has giant, giant observatory called Kronos, uh, which is just an amazing, amazing build. It kind of dwarfs the entire rest of the city, but yeah, he did such a great job on it. Uh, we're going to be zooming in here in just a second on a drill. So DNA, a, a long, long, long term uh, friend and and actually a founder of Realm of Aston, uh, one, uh, signed up to be a patron of mine. So won a patron build. And he said he's all about digging. DNA loves to dig and loves to blow stuff up with TNT. So he said, hey, I want a quarry. So, OK, so quarry you get. But I didn't want to just do a quarry. I want to do a steampunk quarry. So I did this drill and I think it turned out really cool. So it's just a drill hanging on a on a blimp with some lava and water powering it. I, I, I think it turned out really cool. And in the back, you'll see the Zygon Dynasty castle that is in a state of halfway done. Uh, Callus and I kind of teamed up on that and uh, just sort of ran out of time at the end of the season there. This is the banking clan. The banking clan is was our sort of uh, secondary kingdom that we wanted to work on because it was untouched for about three years. And uh, I, I signed up for a couple different palaces. I helped Avalar on the, uh, uh, what was it? The gravel palace, I think? Maybe, I don't remember. And then I switched over to the clay palace because the clay palace hadn't had a lot of work. Uh, the idea was for all the different trades that we have in Realm of Aston, we thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool if instead of have all the trades in just one giant big building there on the right side of the screen, instead, wouldn't it be cool if there was a different palace for each one? I really like this build. It is, uh, it's pretty symmetrical for my taste. I kind of wish I had done towers. Like there's six towers. I wish I had done like maybe three different heights, you know, even just across from each other. But I just think it would have been a more interesting build on this one, but it's okay. A little crane hauling up the terracotta uh, from boats that maybe bring it in. And that the hole that sort of rises out of the ocean, I thought that was a nice little touch. Uh, Chaos helped me out a lot on uh, digging out this and working on some of the cliffs around it and that kind of stuff too. It was a fun project. I'm really looking forward to getting all the trades and whenever Avalor is able to play a little bit more, we're gonna have some uh, custom villagers that we're gonna bring in that are gonna actually do the uh, banking clan trades. This should be a really nice uh, touch, make it feel really uh, just natural and immersive. All right, this is more recent build. We did a build off. We've done two now and, and they were, they're very popular. People really, really like them. And I really like it too. You get basically a week. We vote on a theme, you pick the theme and then you get a week to build something. Uh, there's a few rules it has to be on a road or in a kingdom. It has to have some sort of lore storyline. It has to be 32 by 32, um, Y, you know, X and Z axis and unlimited height. So I did 
a nature well the theme was nature i did jack and the beanstalk was basically my story so i built this uh, uh landscaping around it didn't really count for the size limit so i just did a bunch of landscaping a little custom biome and then i built this giant beanstalk and it turned out great I, uh, the, the floating lanterns are because the kid who lives in the house up on top of the beanstalk is actually, uh, he has created apple trees by combining apple with oak saplings. And so he puts them in these lanterns and lights them and sends them off in the way. And that's how he's sort of spreading apple trees all over the uh, the known world. And, and then, you know, since other people have heard about se sending their lanterns out, so maybe other people do it with... Uh, notes for loved ones and things like that so yeah it, a little bit of a storyline i think it was a really cool build and i think this is one that is really really cool to look at from the ground because you just get a sense of scale you feel like an ant in a forest you know it, it was a really fun build and it turned out really great another thing we started doing this season is we started doing 3 p.m saturday group build session sometimes usually someone streams it i think foxy monoxide has been streaming or lord knight or or uh Siebs. i can't remember who else has been streaming a few others um rail maximus i know is streamed too and our most recent one was over in san rescue we just came over here as a group probably eight or nine of us probably and we just built for probably three hours and it was really fun you know something that in realm of aston has been missing a little bit over the last couple years was even though we all build right next to each other we don't actually play together that much it's almost like i do a i do my own little build and then someone else's are build right next to me instead of actually really collaborating on builds and ideas and and things like that and definitely going forward into the nether uh next season well tomorrow when this video comes out i think uh it, it, we're gonna do a lot more of that a lot more group group build sessions a lot more collabs a lot more all that kind of stuff things with the iou guild and questing and all that stuff it helps to encourage it but i think more we just got bit by the bug and it's just fun to hang out together all right next is bone bluffs bone bluffs was our off-season project for for this off season in between season five and the upcoming season six and we did it so fast and so well that we actually had time to do some other things but but yeah bone bluffs was an old kingdom it started in season two by uh, pride ceratops and bone bluffs had probably four houses maybe five no wall and had that big giant uh dragon skull that was about probably two-thirds done so we came in warlock robbie mir chef and a few others i think really worked on the skull and adding a bunch more bone stuff and we just built all of these houses we built basically a small city up on top of this little plateau and it was really fun again using the new things the new techniques that we've used to build which is like just laying out plots laying out roads and just building on top of each other and it was really really fun it was like every time you'd log on there'd be two more houses it was it was so great we did this all of bone bluffs in probably about three weeks maybe uh with a little bit of finishing details coming after that but um yeah it was it was really great it was really fun and you know the nice thing about doing something like that is it's so great for time lapses but that's gonna do it for me that's gonna do it for season five of the realm of vast and i really hope you enjoyed this season i had so much fun i can't wait to go into the nether season six and uh you know season six is gonna kind of wrap up the nether war storyline that we've been doing for about four and a half years so i hope you're as excited as i am going forward for this and uh, we will see you all next episode, which will be season six, episode one, in just a couple days from ROV. Hopefully a new computer, awesome frames, <laughs> I hope. And, uh, and we'll see that. I, 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 just, I just can't wait. I'm so, I'm so energized and excited, and I hope you are as well. Okay, bye, everybody. I love you all very much, and I'll see you in a couple days.